Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be looking at Dutch Vanderlyn's secret identity. This is a mystery that a lot of you guys have actually messaged me on my Facebook page saying that I should dive into, because many of you guys believe that Dutch is secretly the strange man. And that's obviously a pretty bold claim, and that's something I wanted to investigate with some new evidence that of course has arisen from Red Dead Redemption 2. So let's actually start there. And this is actually one of the pieces of evidence that one of you guys sent me and one of the reasons I should investigate this. As you guys know, whether you're in chapter two, three, four, or six, you have lots of camp conversations that you can overhear. Whether it's between some of the ladies of the gang or Hosea, Dutch, Arthur, Charles, it doesn't matter. Rockstar programmed like a lot of cool encounters that happen at the campsites. And this one particular encounter with John Marston and Dutch, Dutch ends up saying some interesting things that sounds really similar to the strange man. Take a listen to this right here. Mr. Marston. Dutch? Oh, it's nice to see you happy. Happy? <laughs> Playing at family is beautiful. Why are you being strange with me? Just remember, the gang comes first. We fight for each other. That's all I'm saying. I don't... I don't really know what you're talking about. No. No. <laughs> I'm just being silly. Odd. You know me, and I know you. Good cup of coffee always gets the I know you. The perfect image to start my day. What's his problem? I have no idea. Okay, so the line that really stuck out to me was Dutch kept saying, I know you. In fact, he said that two or three times during that line of dialogue right there. And he also sounded very similar to the strange man. Like, not that their voices are similar, but the way that they talk and the phrases they use and the sayings they have, they all sound very similar. And in case you guys have never heard the strange man speak, we only actually hear him speak in the first Red Dead Redemption game. This is a snippet of what he sounds like, and you'll also hear that famous line from him, I know you. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl until her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Then why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's your game, friend? I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. Wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Welcome to Nuevo Pariso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. <laughs> For your sake, I hope he don't. You kill people so easily, yet you respect the vows of marriage. And 
That's very curious. I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised to the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or rob her yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't. Ain't this a beautiful spot? Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing I can't remember. Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico, I know you're from back out west. Hell, I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. Okay, so now you can start to see, and more importantly here, that Dutch and the Strange Man, they use the same types of phrases, same types of words, similar sayings, so all of that is pretty interesting. Now, I certainly don't want to write this off as a 100% direct connection. This could very easily have been an Easter egg from Rockstar, considering the Strange Man interacts with John Marston, and in this dialogue, it was Dutch interacting with John Marston. But there are some strange similarities, like for example, the strange man appears to know John Marston very well, including details about his past life in the Vanderlyn gang that not even John himself remembers. So who is someone that might remember all the events of John's past life? Well, that would be Dutch Vanderlyn. In case you guys don't remember the history between John Marston and Dutch, John was actually saved by uh, Dutch. In fact, in 1885, Dutch came across a group of Illinois homesteaders preparing to hang a young boy for stealing from them. And Dutch saved this child, and his name was John Marston. He brought him into the gang. He taught him to read and shoot, just like he did with Arthur Morgan. So you would assume a father figure like that might remember more of the things that John did than possibly even himself. So this is where things start to get a little bit interesting. Now, I personally believe that this theory is a little bit far-fetched. In fact, I sort of have my own beliefs on who I believe the strange man is. I, number one, either believe that he is John's spirit in a way, if that makes any sense, but that would explain why he knows pretty much every detail about his past life. Another theory is that he is supposed to symbolize death, and that he might even symbolize the Grim Reaper. In fact, there's a stranger in New Austin who actually believes that he is the Grim Reaper as well and haunts and curses the town of Armadillo, being the reason for the cholera epidemic. This is something I've covered in a previous video, and I'll leave a link to it in the description as well if you guys are interested in checking out that backstory for yourself. Now, I think one of the biggest issues with this theory of Dutch being the strange man is how could both of them exist at the same time in the first Red Dead Redemption game? And how could the strange man exist after Dutch is ultimately killed? So that's why I think there's a couple of things that just don't make a, a ton of sense as far as like how it would work. But even with all of that in mind and those inconsistencies too, there's still a lot of things that suggest Dutch could be the strange man. Like for example, in the first Red Dead Redemption game, if the player attacks the strange man, he'll say things like, you always were a nasty little orphan, and come on now Marston, or you haven't changed. Things that like only Dutch would kind of know about. There's even a portrait of the strange man that can be found in John's bedroom at Beecher's Hope, which is also kind of weird. And last but not least today, we're going to get an official answer from Rockstar on who he is. It's kind of an open-ended answer. In an issue of GamePro magazine, a closer look of Red Dead Redemption was given, 
And when asked about the strange man quest and whether the man in the black top hat represented God or Satan, Rockstar told the magazine that they could not tell if the strange man was God, Satan, or anything or anyone else. So they sort of left the door open-ended there. Honestly, I think it's a stretch to assume that Dutch is the strange man. They talk similar. It looks like there are some Easter eggs that Rockstar have thrown in here. Yes, he knows a ton about John's life, but you could also assume he's like a spirit or a god or, you know, some other deity. We don't know. But anyways, I'd love for you guys to continue that discussion in the comments down below. Do you think that Dutch Vanderlyn is the strange man or do you think it's a completely far-fetched theory? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.